welcome back. I went to the Dollar Tree, I don't know, about four days ago, and all of these bags have been sitting in my kitchen on the counter creating clutter, and I've just got to get this video done. So let's do it, shall we? So the first thing here, well, I'll go ahead and do these fall items here. They had zero dust, zero Halloween stuff and fall stuff. They had four of these left, so I grabbed two because I can never have enough of these leaf garlands for some reason. So I grabbed two. I'm After Halloween's over with, I'm gonna decorate for Thanksgiving and I like to put the leaves all around, all around the place, like up on my, on my railings and all over. So there's that. And then I grabbed some potato skins. <laughs> and although I haven't done the video yet until now, I had to open them because I love potato skins. These are the cheddar bacon. They're almost gone. I couldn't control myself. I had to have them. I just had to. So here are my potato skins. I just love those. Let's see, the next thing, I got two of these paper cups. Um, I haven't seen these in a long time and when I found them, I was like, oh, I like to put ranch dip in these and nuts, like a nut cup. Speaking of nut cups, I also bought little ones so I can have a little nut cup or a big nut cup. But I just like these. I do have the plastic ones from Dollar Tree that you wash. But you know, every now and then it's just good to have some paper ones that you can chuck. So I got, I think I just got one of these. I don't even know why I got one of these. I think I still have a whole bunch of these little ones. But two of these. And then here is a pack of batteries, the Panasonic. These are the super heavy duty power, and I've actually been using these throughout October with all of my battery, battery operated lights, and the pan, the, these Panasonic super heavy ones work really well. I like them a lot. And I found some lights. I see these every year and I never get them, but these are the 10 count they just look like little lights, little light bulbs. So I got a pack of those. And then I saw these, and so, so these have the green wire. And then these just have the little thin silver wire. So I got the Christmas trees and they had the little push button samples so they would light up. The Christmas trees were really green and bright. So I grabbed one of those. And then here are the little candy cane with the holly. And these lit up quite nicely as well. So I grabbed some of these. I don't know, you guys. I am just so much into the battery-operated lights, especially for the holidays. I love them. I just love them. I had a trunk or treat night the other night, and I decorated my trunk. If you go to my last video, you will see that. And I had all my battery operated lights all throughout my trunk. It was awesome. I found these again this year and I did make sure that these worked even though, um, well I actually pulled out the tabs, but even if they have the tabs in them, the little pull tabs so that, you know, they, you can't push them on or off um, until you pull out the tab. I pull out the tab and I still check them in the store because wouldn't you know it, I pulled out the tab and pushed the light and one of the lights wouldn't work, like one of the packages wouldn't work. And so, yeah. So I took out the tabs. So these ones work and they have all different settings and then you just pop them off. And I got these for my nieces. I got them some last year for Christmas and I'm sure they're totally lost and destroyed by now. So I grabbed some more because when they come over with their family and open up their presents, I like to have them wear these. They're just, and they love it. They love it. 
I may have gotten myself one too, I don't remember. Maybe not. Their Christmas cards are out and I found these such cute ones. Look at that, I got two packs of these. These are the little red car with the Christmas trees. Oh my gosh, that is just so cute. So you get 12 cards in a pack, so I got two. And the backs, that, or I guess the inside of the card says, may beautiful moments and happy memories surround you with joy this Christmas. So I got those. And I found these non-slip rug underlays. Um, on my leather couch, I have towels, like just great big towels to just hang over the, the back so that our heads don't leave nastiness on the couch because our heads have already left nastiness on the couch. My husband has short hair and he has all, he wears crew and all this gunk and then he just sits and you know, gets his head all over the back of the couch and so I need to polish my couch because the brown coloring has worn away. Anyway, I digress. So um, on the towels, I have the rubber shelf liners and it helps keep the towels from slipping off. But I mean, they're okay. But then I saw these extra heavy durable ones. And so I thought maybe these will be better non-slip because you know, these little shelf liners, after a while, they start to lose their grip. I don't know why, but they do. And and my towels slip. So anyway, I just decided to try the rug ones because they're bigger and thicker. <laughs> Sorry, that was just a big old explanation of my husband's head and his hair and the back of my couch. Oh, I grabbed, did I grab two of these or one? I think maybe I just grabbed one. It's a sink mat, and I've been looking for these for weeks. And they used to be the opaque plastic white ones, and now they're the see-through plastic. It's the same stuff that they make their shower mats out of. And so I grabbed one. See, like here's an old one, it used to be white. But I'm kind of glad that this is clear. Anyway. I wanted one for my sink to try it, and we'll see how that works out. I thought I'd grab two, but I don't know. And then I have here a little dream catcher, and I also have a pink one. Yeah, here it is. It's, they're for my nieces, I don't know. Um, my nieces, <coughs> nieces are five and six years old, and so they are still in the Dollar Tree is awesome stage. So I always get a crap ton of Dollar Tree toys and then I each, I give them each, I put it all in a big sack, a big Christmas bag and they have at it. I wrap them all up and they have at it and they love it because they get like 25 things and they only cost me 25 bucks. <laughs> and so I just grab things every now and then, but anyway, Dream catchers, I just figured why not. I had a dream catcher when I was little and I kinda liked it. Over here, I needed some straws, so I grabbed some straws. And I also bought these lights here. These are the ones that you actually plug in. Um, these, you're, there are only 20 lights and I like to just decorate little tiny corners or little tiny things around my house during the holidays. So like I'll drape these over a doll or something like that. They're super cute. I don't know if I need them, but I grabbed them just in case. Oh, yes. I thought I only grabbed two. I forgot. See, it's been four days. I don't remember what I bought. So I guess I bought all four of the leaf garlands. I have a lot of these now, so I think I'm good to go. My husband loves Smarties, so he wanted me to pick him up a package of these. And then here are some more batteries. These are the AAA. 
and another one of these lights. I don't know. These are my very favorite Mike and Ikes. They come in this blue box and these are the Mega Mix. And you get Caribbean Punch or Caribbean. I'm not quite sure how you say it. Strawberry Banana, Paradise Punch, Grape Soda, Kiwi Banana, Mango Delight, Watermelon, Pineapple Banana, Peach Berry, and Blue Raspberry. I love these flavors. They're the best. So I think I grabbed two, and I may have opened one. I don't remember. I stocked up on my calendars for next year, and this one actually has a little freebie with it, a little miniature one. Um, so here, these are the wildflowers. Um, I usually get ones with kitties on them, <laughs> but I'm just, I need some bright florals to look at in my life. So then I have this one here. This one is watercolor florals and they look like that. And so one will go upstairs in my office and one will go downstairs in my kitchen. Oh, and I just noticed the blossom one is a little bit bigger than the other one. I just really like these. They're only a dollar and they're nice. I just can't stand spending a lot of money on a calendar. There are some really nice ones that I like that are hanging ones. They're like $16. No flipping way. No way. And here I have some alphabet cookies. I haven't bought these in a long time, but they are super duper good, you guys. Super good. And this box is big. And it's a 25% more bonus box. And to go with it, I got the peanut butter silk Jif. The chocolate peanut butter silk. Oh, so that's in here somewhere. There it is. Oh, these are so delicious. You get three little cups like that. And when you dip these into this, you'll have a chocolate Twix, a chocolate peanut butter Twix moment. These taste exactly like chocolate peanut butter Twix from a long time ago. I don't even know if they make them anymore, but I know that like a couple years ago, they changed, they changed them up. You didn't get the, the dark chocolate cookie anymore. You still got the white cookie. You didn't get, the peanut butter taste was different. It tasted more like peanut butter and honey rather than straight up peanut butter. I just, the whole thing went downhill after they reformulated it and changed it up. But, but I haven't even seen them. I don't even know if they still make them. Maybe they do. But these are seriously just like the old school peanut butter Twix. They are so good, so good. I highly recommend and suggest that you try this if you like peanut butter Twix. Oh man, these are all wrinkled up. These were all nice and straight when I bought them. I bought three of these because at Christmas time, along my garage doors we have three lamps and so I attach these to our little wreaths and then we put them over the lamps and every year you know they get hammered from the weather because we're in Utah and it snows all the time and it, they get filthy so I bought three of them and I made sure that they were all nice and unwrinkled and now they're wrinkled because they've been sitting in my bag for four days but they're not too bad but these are a great deal, a dollar. And they had different designs and stuff. So the one I got had the little dingleberries and stuff in the middle. I got my cats some treats. Actually, this is for my cat, my orange tabby, because she has teeth. And these are kind of big. The pieces are kind of big and she loves them. My other cat likes them, but they're just too big for her mouth, and she doesn't have any teeth, so I give her different ones. But, I don't know, I just figured I would grab these because my other cat loves them. Just loves them. We're coming to the end, you guys. I bought a pack of these little 
loofahs. The two packs are the perfect size for me. They have a three pack and they are like nothing. Once they get wet, they're just like little soggy pieces of net. There's nothing to them. Total waste of money. And then the ones that are single that don't come in a pack, they're just too big for me. The two pack is just right. I just love them. Yep, here's my other box. I thought so. And the last things, you guys. Yep, that's it. I finally found the pure vanilla extract. I heard like last year that these were available at Dollar Tree and I've never seen them because you know I think they're only available around the holiday season and by the time I found out the holiday season was just about over with and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I actually, I was looking where all the spices are because you know where the spices are they also have their imitation vanilla. But I actually found these in the baking section, like where you find your muffins and your, your Crisco, your oils, stuff like that. So, and your pancake mixes, think that, that place. So I bought two. I haven't even opened them, so I don't know how big the bottles are. Oh, okay, not bad. But I don't bake a whole lot and I don't use a whole lot of vanilla, but I know that vanilla stays good for quite a while, so I just bought two. And that's it, you guys. That is my Dollar Tree haul. So I'm going to grab me a potato skin. bag is just right. The bag I bought before this, I don't know, a week or so ago, must have got a bad batch because there wasn't a lot of seasoning on the chips. It was just kind of, it needed more. And I know you're all wondering about this. So I'm going to open one and I'm going to open the cookies. These are so good. Oh. These are so good and you can dip fruit in them, pretzels, anything. But I just love them with these. And I will try to make this last me several days. I won't allow myself to just sit and eat one. No way, not in one day. No way. Here are the cookies. Here's my little peanut butter chocolate silk. This alone smells like a peanut butter Twix. <clears throat> Insert cookie. I just kind of scrape it. So amazing. Hello, Lola. This one's the one with no teeth. So she gets different treats. She doesn't get these. I get the ones from Dollar Tree that, I forget what brand, but they're in the blue bag and they look like little drumsticks. She loves those and she can eat those. Ha! Even with no teeth. You wanna come say hello? <laughs> Isn't she precious? All right, I'm gonna have one more. Oh, this one's the one that has teeth. She gets these. Hi, Mama. Want to sniff? They always have to smell my food. All right, she doesn't like it. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye.